Right, hello everybody. So this is Andy from Andrew K Photography, and today is we are going to be unboxing the new Drift Ghost S. And so this was my little Christmas present to myself, uh, and so this is just really uh, sort of a GoPro equivalent uh, that I'm going to be using for uh, capturing some video, uh, some sort of point of view stuff and also strapping on my helmet uh, of my motor motorcycle so um, let's just jump straight in it comes in this rather fetching little cardboard box but we don't need that and then you've got what is quite possibly some of the best packaging I think I've seen I've heard a little bit of bad feedback on the packaging but um, that's a bit excessive but um, I kind of like it it kind of gives quite a good little uh, good little feel to the camera uh, so that bit just comes off quite nicely. Um, this is my first unboxing video, by the way. So if it's a bit naff, you're going to have to uh, you're going to have to excuse me. But there you go, and uh, and there it is. So that's the drift uh, the drift Ghost S HD. Um, it's quite a cool little package. Um, and what we got here? So we've just got a little unscrewy bit. To get it off and we just throw it on the floor which is nice um, and so yeah that's the camera we'll go into a little bit more detail uh, into that in a second uh, as this is an unboxing video let's finish the unboxing um, and then we've got uh, the remote this is probably the most exciting bit about the camera uh, what sort of sets it apart from sort of a, a GoPro is that you've got this remote control where you can have this sort of um, on your wrist or sort of in your pocket and you can start and stop video you can change the settings between uh, normal video uh, time lapse pictures and also photo bursts so it's quite a cool little feature um, just to have in your pocket and just be able to activate the camera remotely uh, but I'll do a separate video on how to set all that up because I think that's a bit more a bit more technical packaging maybe not quite such a good idea in this, uh, this environmentally sensitive world um, anyway so right let's see what we've got in here so this is obviously where we've got all the the gizmos uh, and things so let's start with the most important bit what have we got there's the battery so quite a decent sized little battery just there and we'll put that in in a sec um, that was one of the big things that I didn't like about the GoPros that I've used is that the quality of the battery is just rubbish and you end up um, having pretty bad battery life so I'll be interested to see how uh, how good that is um, then we've got a an additional back plate so the drift's got this um, this back plate here which you can just unscrew which is a little bit of a fiddle, I do have to say, but you get I'm sure I'll get used to that. So you can just unscrew that. Bada bing. And so you've got the little flap. Everyone likes a nice little flap uh, for the battery. Let's chuck that little puppy in. In you go. And also uh, you've got your little space for your macro SD card. Which way does that little sucker go? In you go. That goes in, SD card goes in, shut your flaps, there you go, and uh, so you've got your micro eight, uh, USB socket, uh, HDMI, micro HDMI socket and your mic socket, so the normal back has um, has no sort of flaps to get access to these um, those sockets, which is great because first of all when you put that socket on this camera is completely waterproof up to three meters or so they say which is another little benefit over the um, uh, over the GoPro um, but you've also got this additional socket uh, backing where you've got the these flaps that you can just screw on and then it's still waterproof I probably wouldn't want to take this sort of water water like down swimming with me but definitely sort of when I've got it strapped onto my motorbike um, you can have, have good access to the microphone jack socket um, and I'm pretty sure that's going to stay sort of splash proof um, in the rain but again I'll give you some more feedback on that as and when um, speaking of 
motorcycle socket, uh, motor sticking it to my motorcycle helmet. Um, you've got these two adhesive um, attachments. One's uh, a flat surface, so uh, if you want to sort of stick it to a flat surface, I suppose that's uh, that's great. But this is the one that I'll be using because it's got that little um, little concave um, adhesive, so it can fit a bit nicer onto the side of your your curved side of your helmet. So. Those two very handy, um, and then you've got your little clip which just attaches to the bottom of the of the camera, and then it just slots in like so. So and it looks pretty um, pretty chunky, pretty robust. It certainly um, makes me believe that it's not gonna uh, not gonna drop, not gonna fall out on me when I go over a few bumps. But I might actually be testing that out today. So uh, check out the next video on how that goes. Um, then you've got a little microphone socket extender cable. Um, what does this do? Hang on, hang on, hang on. It's the first time I really use this, so I'm a bit flying so late. So just clicking there. Okay, so you've got a little extension cable, so you're not sort of fiddling around at the back of the um, back of the back of the camera when you're trying to get your uh, get your mic in. Um, I'm not sure how useful that is. But we'll see, we'll find out. Uh, you've got your charger cable, nice little charger cable. So it's just the old school micro USB. So it's not like the new phone chargers. Um, so you need to be careful of that. Make sure you don't forget that when you're going on holiday. Um, what we got here? <coughs> what we got here? Uh, so this is the wrist strap for the uh, for the for the remote control. Oops. Hang on. It's my face. Sorry. Um, so yeah, you can just sort of strap that on, put that on your wrist, and uh, have that ready to go. Uh, what's that? So that's a, a goggle mount, so when you've got your big thick strap of your goggles, you can just sort of put that, slide that in, so you get a nice little uh, side view when you do your off-road stuff. Stickers, everyone loves a good sticker, so I'll be sticking that on my helmet. Um, oh, two stickers. So two nice stickers, thank you very much, that's good, thank you Drift. Um, instruction manual, um, I don't really use instruction manuals because I'm a man, um, but also um, I'm sure there's plenty of videos on, on YouTube uh, which are going to give much better instructions. Um, so yeah, so let's turn it on. So, oh we have power, nice. So you've got these four little... Uh, sort of rubber buttons up at the top which um, which feel quite nice feel quite rugged um, and there's there's your first your first view so straight away so that's my door um, that's the camera that I'm videoing um, but which you can't obviously because you can't see the LCD screen um, and let's see if this little thing pow powers up cool is that on there we go and so that is now synced to the camera I suppose so if I so that's the green so when the lights of the remote and the top of the camera uh, light up together I think that shows that it's synced um, and so if I press that top button there it's turned red so that's now recording I, pr I presume um, so there and then when I press stop it should Stop, record stop recording. Ah, what well, this is another cool thing that you can do. So when you press record through the remote and it's recording and flashing red, if you press the same button again, if you just watch the colour of the uh, the LEDs, it goes blue on the remote. That's actually it taking a picture whilst it's taking a video, which is a really cool little feature. Um, and so then if you just hit the bottom button, that just stops it and it just goes back green. Um, Okay, and this is it changing through this the mode. See how it's gone from a green LED to a, a yellow LED, and then purple, uh, and then blue, and then back to green. So that's the four different settings: fill, uh, video, camera, photo burst, and time lapse. I'm not sure what the uh, what different colours uh, there are, what the different colours stand for. Um, but yeah, so I'm looking forward to using this, getting stuck in. Um, does everything from. 25 frames a second up to 60 frames a second, uh, 1080p, um, you know, full HD quality. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to giving this a try and um, 
to getting some good video. So watch this space and I'll um, keep you up to date. But anyway, uh, that's about it really. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this is Andy from Andy Coley Photography. Uh, check out my webpage, uh, YouTube, videos, um, Twitter, Instagram, all that gumph. And um, have a good day. Cheers.